Hello, in this video, we will study the implementation of linked list. So let's first look at this add first. How do you add the first element to the first, the head of the linked list? So this is the diagram. So this is the linked list and you're gonna add it to the beginning. So here it is, this is going to be added to the beginning. And this is going to be becoming the new head and this is going to be linked with E0 now. And this is going to be the new head. So how this works, you have to now create a new node for the element the new node for the element. And this is the new node, the pointer to the new node. Now, you're going to assign this, this height. So look, this is the new node. After this, you're gonna assign the height to the next, new nodes next. And then this new node is going to be the head. So that's right here. So now the size is increased. So there's one more case is what happens if tail was no. And then you have to now do this, assign head to tail. There's only one element. Now. This new element is just one element there. Now you can also look at more details. Look at this code animation. So here's the code animation, it shows how this is done behind the scene now for this data structure here. Empty or not empty list. Enter zero or one. Note that you can use mouse or finger to move this dialog box freely. This animation shows how to insert a new element to the front of an empty list or a non-empty list. Enter zero for an empty list and one for a non-empty list. The add first element function is invoked to insert elements at the beginning of the list. So we're gonna assume this uh, list is not empty. So let's see what happens is zero now. It's one, if it's zero, the list was empty. So now it's not empty. The list is so this empty. is the link list now. This is the height, tail, and this is the size. This is the uh, link list. Check your understanding. After this function is finished, what will be head and head's next sealment? Enter your answer separated by a space. The statement creates a new node for the element and the address of the new node is assigned to point your new node. After this function is finished, what will be head? So after this function is finished, the head is still point to this E0. So, and head is, is not changed after this, right? So the, uh, what is head and what is head next? And this head next element will be E1, so that's going to be E1, but there's one thing here is what will be the head? I think it's it's right, it says should be the head's element. So that is the E0, a separate by space. So that is a typo here. So it's head element. So let's give it a try now. Wrong. Will be new node and heads next sealment will be E0. Okay, so let's go back here now. Creates a new node for the element and the address of the new node is assigned to point your new node. Empty or non empty list. All right. Zero or one. Let's that you can use mouse or finger to move this dialog box freely. This animation shows how to insert a new element to the front of an empty list or a non-empty list. 
That's two zero for an empty list and one for a non-empty list. And the one now. First element function is invoked to insert element at the beginning of the list. The list is initially non-empty. Check your understanding. After this function is finished, what will be head and head's next statement? Enter your answer separated by a space. The statement creates a new node for the element, and the address of the new node is assigned to point your new node. Okay, um, I misread this question here. Is after this function is finished, not just this line is finished, this statement is finished. So after this function is finished, so what is head? So head will be this new node. And what will be head's next element? So that's going to be E0. a new node for the element and the address of the new node is assigned to point your new node. So this is the one now here. New node is created. The statement assigns head to new node minus is greater than next. So this is now, this next is linked to the height. The statement assigns new node to head. Now head points to the new node. Head now points to the new node. The statement okay. Size, size is increased by one. We assume that the list is not empty in this case. Tail is equal to null pointer is false. So that's it. Close it. So that's the implementation for this at first. Now, similarly, pre-study at last add to a specified index. And this is remove first and remove last, remove at. So this is the uh, complete source code for linked list. And this is the uh, template for the note class, type name, T here. So this is, T is the element, and here, this is the next, it's a pointer to the next note, and this one is the null pointer, is for this empty note, and this is is the element is assigned to this with e. Now we're going to talk about the iterator letter. So this is something we're going to talk about in the upcoming video. So for now, this is the linked list, so everything is implemented. So please read and study this implementation for the linked list. Now, for the complexity of linked list, at is at the element at the end, so that is order of one time. At element at this specified index, in the worst case, it's all of n time, and clear is all of n time. You can remove everything, destroy everyone in the linked list. So contain is all of n time, get is all of n time, index of is all of n time, empty is all of one time, simply test if size is equal to zero. Last index of all of n time, remove all of n time, get size is all of one time. Remove this element that the given index is all of n time, set. So go to this location to set it, and that is all of n time. Add first is all of one time. Remove first is all of one time. So that is all for the implementation of the linked list. See you on the next video.